calculus. But what in the hell are you talking about? Why would we want to learn calculus during a pandemic? Welcome back. Time to learn how we'll effectively do this calculus class during this very strange situation. So in this video, I'm going to break down exactly what we need to do, exactly what you need to do to get a good grade in Calc 1 and still get a quality education during a pandemic and a quarantine. Weird. Let's get into it. Okay, here we're looking at our class Y.O. Courses page, or more accurately, we're looking at the dashboard for Y.O. Courses. If we click on Calculus 1, our class, we'll see a newly redesigned Y.O. Courses page. So I've gone through and I have tried to make everything as easily accessible and streamlined as possible for online courses. All right, so here, let me throw this into a student view so you can see it exactly how you'll see it when you log in. Okay. So let's go on through. Uh, we got our welcome page and everything like that. I've put up an announcement, if you haven't seen, detailing what the changes will mean for our class. So let's click on it. If you click on it, you'll be taken to this page where I detail exactly what will happen with every section of the class. So first off, lectures. Lectures will now be done via videos. I've started making some. Um, they're not they're not that good yet. I'm working on it. Uh, it's kind of a lot to do. But if you go to the video lectures page, which you can also access from the course homepage, let's show that. From the course homepage, if you scroll down underneath that update, you can also access the video lectures from our quick navigation link. So by clicking video lectures right there. You click video lectures you'll end up on this page here i've started to upload video lectures for every different section i'm trying to keep it hopefully at least a little bit fun and you know watchable and everything like that i even made a one i even made like a theme song for it and everything but we got you know we got some smooth little video lectures with different stuff going on here and uh yeah that's just how it'll work you can can watch these guys at your leisure. I have a bunch of examples and you know nice uh, nice graphs and everything. You can check it all out. Look at all the worked out examples. It follows along right with your note packets, and you can see exactly what's going on and exactly how it works. So there we go. Video lectures. All right. That's how we'll do things. You can watch them at your leisure. I'll post these guys almost every day until we're done with the lectures for the class. Um, after I get caught up a little bit with the current material, I'll try to go back and make video lectures for the old material as well. It might take a little bit. So, you know, what can you do? It might take a little bit. These guys take a little while to make, but I'll get them done. And you can uh, check them out whenever you want. Watch them as much as you want. And there you go. Okay. So, video lectures. Nice. If we go back to that COVID-19 and Calculus 1 page, underneath the video lectures part, the next thing up is the schedule. So the schedule has had to change a little bit um, since we had this extra week of spring break. Luckily, this hasn't impacted things all that much. So mainly, We've had to adjust some due dates, of course, since, you know, we got thrown off by a week. Mostly this involves pushing the due dates back by a week. That's pretty much it. Um, we did have to cut section 6.1. This is not that important. This is not that big of a deal. So, yeah, you won't get section 6.1, but, uh, oh, well. Okay, so you lose section 6.1, but other than that, things will be just about the same in terms of what we'll cover and when. I have had to change the quiz schedule up a little bit, just in terms of what's on the quiz. And this is only to your benefit, so don't worry about this. We'll talk about quizzes momentarily. I've also created, though, a new schedule page. So if we click on that button, we'll get to this page. I've done everything in the UIO colors or something. And here you go, new schedule. You can check it out whenever. It says exactly what we're going to do every day. Easy. Okay. so schedule. You can also find this uh, 
in the syllabus. If you go to the syllabus, I've updated the syllabus with this information. Click there to view the syllabus. Or here. Click here to view the syllabus. And bada bing, it downloads. You can read through it. And what's on that schedule page is just a uh, repost of what's on the syllabus. I've updated everything. It's all on there. All right. Cool. Easy. So schedule and syllabus, all that stuff, pretty similar. Pretty similar for the most part. Um, exam. So that is probably one of the big ones people are interested in right now. So from the information that I currently have, exam one will still be on Thursday, April 2nd. You can almost certainly count on that. It'll still be over sections 3.2 through 3.10. So exact same sections, just one week later. How it will be administered is online. So I think at the moment the plan is to do it using my lab math, so the online homework system, and you'll be able to take your exam just by going in the online homework system. Okay, pretty straightforward. Um, I'll give you some more information about this once I have it. Unfortunately, since this is coordinated, it's been a little bit of a, a process to get it all made. But plan on Thursday, plan on sections 3.2 through 3.10, and yeah, we'll take it online. You'll have a little bit of flexibility with when you take it and that sort of thing. So don't worry, just study like you would for a normal exam and you'll get to take it online. Hmm, cool enough. All right, so up next would be quizzes. Okay, we had to adjust, as I said, this quiz schedule a little bit, not in terms of days. We'll still have quizzes on Wednesdays. The main thing we had to adjust is what's on each quiz. So if you look at the schedule, you look at the syllabus, and you see what's going on there, you can absolutely know exactly what's going to be on every quiz. But let's run through it together now. So go to the Assignments tab, how about? If we go to Assignments, we can see that, oh, and I'm in Student View. Let's go by Type. So you got your homeworks. Those guys are all the same. Quizzes, or exams, same stuff. Quizzes, um, oh, it looks like a few of these are out of order, but the ones with the little rocket ship thing by them are the quizzes that remain in the class. I've moved these to be online quizzes. So I'm going to leave Student View really quick so I can actually show you what will be on here. So if I leave Student View and I go to Quizzes, um, I see all these guys. I don't believe that you'll see these yet, or if you do, you won't be able to access them at least. But Come the due date for the quiz, i.e. each Wednesday, you'll be able to take a quiz online. So let me jump into quiz eight, and I'm going to preview it real quick to show you what you'll see. So preview of quiz eight, you'll get this uh, little, little header thing. After you're done with the quiz, you'll be able to access uh, the quiz keys from this page and everything. Um, you can just take an answer and submit it. And there you go. I should probably get off this page so everyone doesn't see the quiz eight questions. Um, it'll show them to you one at a time. You can answer, and then it'll give you the next question, and you just go right on through. Um, very straightforward, exactly the same quizzes, just online now. And uh, you, can, you can take these any time during the day that the quizzes do. So if it's on a Wednesday, you can take it from 12 a.m. to 11.59 p.m. on Wednesday. Mm. All right, easy enough, cool. So back to that COVID-19 and Calculus 1 information page. OK, after quizzes, which we've just taken online, and they're pretty much the same, just a little bit of changes in the section coverage to accommodate for our changes to the schedule that the extra week of spring break had to give us. So online homework, almost exactly identical. Just everything moved back accordingly to the extra week of spring break. That's the only change. The homework's already online. We don't need to change anything. So last one is office hours. Since uh, it's kind of difficult to do these big group Skype meetings or uh, Zoom meetings or anything like that, honestly, I haven't had that much success with it. We're just going to go for by appointment office hours. So I'm almost always here. I'm just working from my house and in front of my computer all day. Uh, 
just shoot me an email and we can set up a Zoom meeting and we can talk face to face. I can show you all sorts of stuff using my uh, nice drawing tablet. I can just write exactly like I was on a whiteboard. We can go through problems together. You can also just uh, email me any questions you have and I can help out that way. But by appointment, just hit me up and we'll figure out a way to chat and go through any questions, concerns, or problems you have. Um, but yeah, cool. So, so, like this all suggests, we won't be having regularly scheduled classes. This is pretty much on your own time now. So this is hopefully more convenient than having, you know, uh, group Zoom meetings where you can barely hear and everything's lagging all of the time or uh, anything like that, especially for people who are in different time zones. That's the biggest concern to me, is if we try to do some sort of like a synchronized meeting, then if we do it, say, at like 10 a.m. or something like that, then people in a different time zone might have to be at class at 8 in the morning. You know, stuff like that doesn't work so great. So we'll skip that kind of thing. You can just watch the video lectures, follow along with the schedule, do the homework, Hit me up anytime and we can chat and work on problems. The quizzes open up online. You can take them online. The homework's online. Exams will be online. And I'll give you another announcement with some more details on that soon. Cool. So basically, um, what I was thinking of was, um, oh fuck, I can't believe you've done this. Oh 